Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tuesday Night Slapshot, where we have three big pro matches here on the SPL Network. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Darth. We're going to be in for a ride here tonight as we got three matches on the board, all three of them being from the Plymouth Play. First off at 8.30, we have the Plymouth Play taking on the Los Angeles Comets later on as that one concludes. We have the Las Vegas Vandals making their return to center ice as they take on the Plymouth Play. And then we'll take a 30-minute break, jump back into the action at 10 o'clock Eastern time for the Plymouth Play taking on the Orlando Otters. Going to be three big matches, going to be three good matches, and uh, we're going to be here every step of the way uh, throughout this journey here tonight. But uh, taking a look at the current pro standings as we start to close up this third week of our fourth season here in the Slapshot Premier League. Colorado Cobras right now in first place with seven wins, two losses, 14 standing points. They've solidified their spot in the top spot regardless of whatever happens tonight. But of course, Las Vegas Vandals, one of the matches, one of the teams we're going to see down there on the ice for our middle matchup here this evening as we look to take this one uh, through the journey as they're currently tied for second with the West Virginia Orangutans. Both those teams having um, five wins to their marker. Of course, Las Vegas, if they win tonight against Plymouth, they'll have that uh, deal breaker in their back pocket and they'll only be half a point or half a game down from the Colorado Cobras. Of course, moving past those top three teams, we have the Orlando Otters, another team we're going to see down there on the ice in the fourth seed right now, playing eight games, five of those being wins, three of those being losses, none of those being decided in an overtime loss scenario. Of course, in the Slapshot Premier League, if you win a game, you get two standing points. You lose a game, you get none. But if you lose a game in overtime, you get one standing point and a pat in the back, if you will. But uh, fourth place right now, Orlando Otters, eight games played, five wins, three losses, all those in regulation. And uh, they're looking to keep it that way here tonight. Maybe even advance. If they win tonight and Las Vegas loses, Orlando Otters are your second place team coming into week number four in the tail end of the season. Brooklyn Bandits right now at fifth place with a 5-4 and four record. Boston Big Beans out there with a 4-4-1 four, four, and one record down there in sixth place. And, of course, the Ontario Outliers, you know, picked up a huge win back on Sunday against the Colorado Cobras thanks to D-Swoop's game-winning goal out there on the ice. And then tonight... Our triple whammy down there in the eighth seed, the Plymouth Plague, looking to start us off on the right foot, excuse me, on the right foot against the Los Angeles Comets. Comets right now three and five on the season, having six standing points right now in a relegation spot alongside the Yosemite Grizzlies right now in last place with a two and seven, or a two, six and one record technically because of the overtime win there in uh, that scenario. But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a fun one. And uh, we'll get a poll going. I completely forgot. Um, I did not. Ex I'm, I'm just not expecting anybody to tune into this one. It's a Tuesday night. It's 8:30. You know, it's prime hockey time uh, for the NHL. So you know, it, it'd be like it is whenever it do. But uh, we'll get one going. But it will be interesting to see how these teams take form onto the ice. Of course, if you're not aware, the Plymouth Plague picking up um, spills and adding him to their roster not too long ago. I don't think he's had a chance to play yet, but I could be mistaken entirely. I haven't had a, um, the amount of intent whenever, uh, the amount of attention to give to the Pro Division as I did last season. Um, taking a look at the roster transactions, that was back on November 1st, which was last Monday whenever Spills was added to the Plymouth roster. Of course, Rominator leaving the Plymouth Plague to make room on that roster spot. And, uh, of course, that was the same day as Kyler left the Ontario Outliers for the West Virginia Orangutans. And the Otangs, of course, picking up bombs in that roster transaction as well, dropping Jaboons and Fizz to make room for that. Last week was a weird week for the uh, Pro Division, and uh, we're going to continue that as we get this one rolling tonight. Of course, um, Plymouth Plague had a few things come up during the week. I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty with it. I know the reason because I am a league admin, but uh, I'm not going to get too much into it. But uh, they weren't able to play during uh, Wednesday through Sunday, so they pushed all their games to the weekend, and they might have, if it had to be done, uh, push it an entire week farther. But uh, that was not the case here. We have all three matches on the board here tonight. If you didn't get to see the schedule yet, here it is. Three matches, two hours, two and a half hours. Maybe, no, it's just two hours. I can't do math. 8.30 to 10.30. We got Slapshot going on just about every uh, every step of the way, except for that 9.30 hour. But uh, Case Fire Live Track, Reno in the lobby right now for the Los Angeles Comets. Of course, Dave sitting out as per uh, same, same flavor as Sunday night. But uh, we'll just have to see how this one rocks with it and how they lean with it. T Flass at Speed Chaser and Spills over there for the Plymouth play. Case Bar, Dave, Laugh Track, and Reno over for the Los Angeles Comets. Comets looking to get out of a relegation spot. And we'll see if they're able to do that here and now. 
But previous five between these two teams, Bloom's Plague, in the, in the previous five, they played the O-Tanks, Cobras, Outliers, Grizzlies, and the Beans. They won three out of those five. They lost to the Cobras 11 to five, and they lost to the Outliers six to five. That was before the acquisition of Spills, though. So we'll just have to, uh, we'll have to see how he does out there on the ice. I'm expecting to see T, Flash, and the Speed Chaser myself. But uh, what their lineup might be, uh, who's to say? But uh, but uh, rather than Mr. T, the captain, that uh, sets the lineup every morning. Of course, for Los Angeles Comets, their previous five, they won three, lost two. The two that they lost was against the Orlando Otters and the Brooklyn Bandits. The Brooklyn Bandits matchup was a 6-5 to loss for the Comets. And then the Orlando Otters ended up getting a W off the Comets 8-10 to last week. But last week, pretty, pretty set in stone, pretty... Um, I've completely forgot the word I was going to use. Pretty <laughs> pretty well in their endeavors. Uh, of course, this week, the Comets came out with two big wins. One was an overtime win against the Las Vegas Vandals back on Sunday. That was at 8.30 on the SPL Network. You can go back and check that one out. It was an overtime win game winner by Laugh Track, uh, the hero of that night. And then, of course, previously, they played at 8 o'clock also on the SPL Network against the Ontario Outliers. They won both of those matches. The Comets right now looking to go 3-0 on the week. But uh, Plymouth Blake also looking to go 3-0 on the week. But who's to say how this one's going to go as uh, the last time these two teams have met up. They split the difference last season. Back on August 15th, they played, and Plymouth Blake came out with a 5-4 difference. Of course, the roster's back then for the Plymouth Plague. Not a whole lot different. T. Flaccid out there on the ice. Rominator no longer on the team. Then for the Las Vegas or the Los Angeles Comets, Derek Q. Silver and Case Fire out there for the, their first matchup uh, of last I was casted on the SBL Network. You can go back to the Archives channel. And then uh, later on, on September the 9th, also casted, but not by me this time. It was by Cape. If that VOD's still around, you can go back and check it out. Plymouth Plague, Los Angeles Comets, back on September 9th of 2021. Laugh Track, Derek, and Q Silver were out there for the Comets. They got six. Plymouth Plague only had four with T, Timmy, and Flaccid out there for their starting. Let's see how this one goes tonight. As we look to get this one ready to go, T-Chase and Spill is going to be your starting lineup for the Plymouth Plague, the Case Fire, Laugh Track, and Reno, your starting lineup for the Los Angeles Comets. But uh, once they're ready, I will be as well. Sorry if I don't sound that amazing. I am a little sick. I don't know what's going on with my immune system, but it just doesn't like me today. I have been non-stop sneezing until I hit start stream button. So we'll uh, have to sit and straddle it out. But uh, we got six players in the lobby. Five of them ready. And now six. We'll get this one rocking and rolling as we take it down to the ice for 15 minutes of slap shot as it's on the clock. We're ready to go. Plymouth on the right side. Los Angeles on the left. The game capture says, all right, we'll, pl we'll play some slap shot today. And it is underway. Topside boards dumps this one out. Looking for that catch. Pump shot scores. And we already have ourselves the first goal of the match. Beautiful feed by Reno. Beautiful catch by Case Bar. And he finds himself an empty net. And he tucks that one in for the night. Six seconds in. One goal is the difference. And we play on. T back behind his own cage looks for refuge as Laugh Track eyes him up along the topside boards. T seeking this one back behind his own goal line. He takes this one off the back end, sweeps that one out. Marino seals it, shooting. Nice stop there by uh, T. Good block there by T yet again. But that one's coming out the other way as this one's right over to Spills. Spills off the forehand, stopped up by Laugh Track. Laugh Track touching that one back for Reno. A little miscommunication there as Chase tries to wreak havoc on the near side boards. Case fire. Pass Reno down to the near side. Chase into the corner, trying to get into the nitty gritty with it. Reno seeking that one out to the top side. Off the back end, pass over to Case Bar, hits his hip, tries to take this one in stride, but T able to pick his pocket, and he'll have possession for this next breakout. T, forehand, out in front of his own cage, down to the near side, pass over to Chase. Chase off the hip, finds a way to fire it out to Spills, but not able to make contact with that one. T with a shot, off to the near side and wide by just a hair. Chase goes off Case Bar. Case Bar in his own defensive end, looks to send that one back over to Reno. Reno back behind his own goal line, pops this one over to Case Bar. Case Bar off T. T pulls this one away. Brought back down to the near side boards. Fed over to Chase. Intercepted by Reno. Team Case Fire battle for this one. The two captains back on the defensive end for Plymouth. Pass over to Chase. Chase looking to feed this one topside. A little loose on that one. Laugh track back in time to steal that one away. T. Forehand. Shooting over to Spill. Hits the post off the near side. Laugh track. Finding a way over to Reno. Reno down towards the near side. Fed out to Laugh track. Laugh track with a shot on target. But T there to block that one out at the top of the faceoff dot. 
as Case Spiral touches one up with Reno Spills, trying to get that one back for the boys in red tee. Pulls that one off the back end sole and shot by Reno, but not able to find the netting. Spills down in the corner. Live track fed over to Case Bar. Case Bar back at his own blue line, looking to get this one off the back end. Topside boards, banks this one out to Reno, over to Case Bar. Case Bar down to the near side, trying to dangle his way past Chase, goes off Spills. Spills here tries to gain possession and does so successfully. Deeks pass down to the near side, cuts it up on a dime. He fakes it out, shot. Nice save there by Reno. Chase with a backhand, save there by Laugh Track. Out to T. T at the red line. Down the near side. Fed over to Spills. Spills here looking to toss this one in the bucket. Not able to find any way to get past the guards at the gate, though. As Reno will defend this one into the corner and dump this one out the full 200. 247 remaining in the first period of action. It's 1-0 Los Angeles. Shot off the far side by T. Casebar from his own defensive end looks to take his time. Reno sets the pick. Casebar throws his one down to Laugh Track. Laugh Track to the top side finds Reno along the wing. Stopped up by Chase there. Finding his way back to Reno. Reno off the far side boards. Banks it off the boards to himself. But T reads that one beautifully. Finding his way over to Spills. Spills down low. Looking for the scoop. Laugh track. Case fire. Tending the net attentively. Chase over the shot. Stopped by Case fire. T down low in the corner. Trying to get this one even farther into the offensive zone. As Spills will take this one back at the red line. Spills down the near side. Trying to dance the disco down center line. Shooting. Not able to find the net. As this one goes down the near side. Possibly looking for that deflection shot from Chase. But we'll never know. T dumping this one down with two minutes on the clock here in this first period of action. Reno, top side, able to find Laugh Track. Laugh Track stops, pulls, looks for the pop, shot off to the near side. Now one goes into the wing. Case Bar shooting, nice stop there by T. As the deflection goes off to the far side, Laugh Track finds his way to Case Bar. Case Bar near side point out to the neutral zone as Reno will try to take his strides off the far side boards. Chase knocks that one loose, finding his way back to T. Laugh Track there, Ken opens that one, finds himself a little soup to dangle with. Top side out, Laugh Track finding his way over to Reno. Reno there, pockets that one down to the near side, finding his way back to Laugh Track. Laugh Track with the pink beard looks to take that one back to Case Bar. Case Bar off the hit from Spill's uh, aggression with a stick as they are not able to get that shot through Speed Chaser. Here's Case Bar towards the top side, back out to the blue line, looking for the pass over to Laugh Track. Not able to pull the trigger on the backhand shot, and Spill's will be taking this one out the far side. Laugh Track knocks it loose, goes off Chase. Chase for the Plymouth Plague, return back over to T. T off the back and from the point over to Spills. Spills not able to take that one in stride as it goes off the tip of the stick and wide of the netting. T at the red line, down the near side, tries to pull this one along the boards as Laugh Track tries to get into his DMs. T has a little bit more of a restricted account than we thought. T top side over to Chase. Chase from the back end, goes off case bar. Spills tries to dangle, looking for the shot, not able to get past Laugh Track cleanly. And Laugh Track brings this one out the other way. Laugh Track from the point, banks this one off the end boards, finding its way over to T. T. Tries to take this one off to the far side as the race is on. T off the back end. Stopped up by Reno. Reno out the other way. One-on-one -on -one with T. T a beautiful stick battles. Reno beautiful as well. But T comes out on top with a success, successful defense in that matter. Chase down low from the goal line. Pass out in front. Not able to hit Spills. As Spills will keep this one in the offensive zone. Case Fire will take charge out to Reno. Reno goes off the hip trying to take this one even farther north. Spills knocks this one down into the offensive zone. As Case Fire will pull this one back and away. As he'll find a little bit of room to work with out in front of his own cage. Chase closing the gap, thrown down low by Case Hart, finding the hands of T. T here with it now with 10 seconds remaining. And so he'll try to take this one down the near side boards. Laugh track to the top side. Reno applying that offensive pressure going off the back end. T getting a touch in there as well. Reno, laugh track shooting off to the near side, and that one goes wide. And that's the end of the first. Los Angeles Comets at one. Plymouth Plague remains scoreless as we move into the second. All six parties ready up, ready to rock, and ready to roll down on the ice for the second period of action. As we take this one to the house, Plymouth Plague on the right side, and the Los Angeles Comets on the left. The puck is dropped, and the game is on. Beautiful shot, not quite able to find the mark as this one's brought down into the Los Angeles zone. Spills takes charge, top side point, finding Chase. Chase with a shot, goes down to the near side, and wide by the smallest of margin. T fed out to Chase. Chase here at his own blue line, reverses this one down to T. T with a shot, nice stop there by Reno. This one's brought to the far side. Laugh Track getting a hand on this one. Dumps us down even farther as Case Bar picks up charge down in the offensive corner. T. Chase formed the sandwich for Plymouth. Brought over to Spills with that loose puck. Spills down towards the near side looking to get his dangle on. Off the forehand, the backhand. Tries to split the defense. Gets a shot off in the process from the red line, but not quite able to hit the barn. T with a nice opportunity on his stick, but Laugh Track there able to steal that one away. Chase returning that favor down the near side. Laugh Track. <laughs> Fight over to Reno. Excuse me. 4.15 remaining in the second. Ace Bar stolen away by T. T here with an opportunity to shoot, scores! And we have ourselves a 1-1 ball game. The boom is plagued from downtown. And T's marching to the tune of his own drum. And we'll see if he can keep on keeping on here in the second. 4.11 remain, and we play on.
Laugh track down the near side, fed over to Reno. Reno here back in his own defensive end. Looking to take his time, get this puck under control. Reno down the far side, boards, gets past Chase, goes past, spills over to Casebar. Casebar pulls, shoots, nice stop there by T. T. Off the forehand, back in. Nice feed over to the far side point, finding his way over to Chase. Chase against the grain, trying to throw that one against the netting. Not quite able to get the angle he wanted. Case bar. Down in front of his own cage. Spills, eyeing him up like a turkey on a Thanksgiving morning. This case bar will feed this one over to the laugh track. Goes off the hip, cradled off the back end. Sent over to Spills. Spills here with a nice control in his own defensive end. Looking for Chase as that one's loosened up by laugh track into the hands of T. T off of Reno, finding his way back over to T. Down low in the Plymouth corner. This laugh track. Finds, tries to find a way to get this one off the stick of TT. Able to pop this one loose down towards the near side. Chase with a body slam against Laugh Track. Able to pop this one out into the neutral zone. Spills trolling this one back over to T. T having a little bit of extra time to breathe before Laugh Track pounces on him and tries to suffocate him like the Cobra that he plays on that back check. T top side looking for Chase. Chase back over to T. T here off the back end. Shooting this one off the face of Chase. Saved by Reno once, twice. Chase trying to jam that one in the doorstep, but not able to find anyone to buy those Girl Scout cookies. It's 2.50 remaining in the second, and we still have a tie ball game. T, Chase, topside, shoots off to the near side, not able to find the friendly face. Case bar tries to get a hand on this one, spills, or against the grain. Not quite able to fake out laugh track on that deep, but spills, steals it, scores. Wow, I look away from my screen for two seconds, and spills just comes out with a, that's, uh, that's not what I thought would happen, but <laughs> it's 2-1, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's 2-1 Plymouth. All right, that might be the game winner. I don't know how I feel about it if that's the game winner, but uh, we'll see what happens. T tries to drive it down over to Spill. Spill's here taking this one off the back end, back over to T. If that's a deal breaker for a three stars match, we'll have to talk about that. Live track towards the top side, off the back end, fed out to Case Park, deflects that one down towards the near side. T along the near side of his own corner, losing possession from lag. Case Park from the top side, looking to bring this one, feeding it out in front, perhaps, maybe not. Chaser has his options covered. Reno with the tip of the stick, shot goes off T and off to the far side boards. The battle continues. Laugh track dumps this one down off the Plymouth end boards. Reno off the end boards as well, looking for Case Park. Case Park off the four and looking for the shot attempt. Gets past Spills, pass out in front, goes off Laugh track stick and into the corner. Laugh track trying to get a hand on this one. Spills slapped away by Laugh track. Laugh track and Spills. The clash of the Titans at the red line. The puck not moving a whole lot, but here we are seeing their their uh, their feats. On display. Case bar with a shot off the near side. Brought over to K or Laugh Track. Laugh Track low for this wraparound attempt. Not able to get the angle as T keeps with him stride for stride. Case bar at the blue line. Spills. Return back over to T. T topside out to Chase. Chase from the, his own point. Back over to T. T back over to Chase. Chase down towards the near side. Spills able to fight for this one and he gets possession. Takes his time down the near side board trying to get his jive on as he'll throw this one back over to T. T. Top side. From the red line, finds a way to get it towards uh, Spills, but not able to get that one on his curve of the stick. As Case Power will take charge back in his own defensive end, he'll look to take this one out the far side boards. Spills with a nice stick check, goes off Chase. Chase at the blue line, goes off Case Power. Case Power driving down with 60 seconds remaining, looking to get this one down and swifty with it. Life track, looking to continue that trend out to the point. Good shot by Reno, but not quite able to send that one packing as that one goes off the near side and wide. Case Power, little physicality, finds Reno back out at the neutral zone. Shot, long attempt. Not a solid connection, neither on that shot. Laugh track knocks it loose. Case fire goes off T. T down in the corner, trying to battle it free from Case fire. Case fire fed out in front. Good stop there by Chase. Spills shooting. Hits the post off the far side. Spills trying to right his wrongs. But Laugh track able to knock that one back into the defensive end. Chase goes off Laugh track. Laugh track down the near side. Forehand shot. Big touch there, man. Case fire sweeps it under the rug. And yet again, we're tied. Good shot by Laugh track and a good cleanup there by Case fire. As that one goes through the wickets. 25 left in the second, and we're tied at twos. Case Bar out in front of his own cage, looking to play with fire. Chase tempting him. I dare you to make a mistake. Case Bar at the red line, takes it down center avenue, goes off T. T here taking this one back out the other way, gets past one, gets past two, over to Chase, off the tip of the stick, over to T yet again. Forehand, not able to send it home. So that one goes over to Chase on along the far side, over to the neutral zone, spills here at his own blue line. We'll just hold on to that, and that's the end of the second. Between the Los Angeles Comets Plymouth Plague, they're tied at twos at the end of two. But all six parties ready to rock, ready to roll. We're taking it back down to the ice for this third and final period of regulation between these two hockey teams. But the puck is dropped and the game is on. And, uh, you know, he's just not in the game. So uh, we'll just have to uh, 
Wait our time, and here's Spill. Spill's taking this, <laughs> taking this one down the far side, fighting his way to TT with a shot off the near side, or off the far side of the cage. Spills, looking to break this one down. It was off live track, back into the neutral zone. Here's Spills with it now. Spills. Down the near side, pass over to TT. Out in front, finding his way to Chase, but not able to get that one through Case Fire cleanly. Case Fire battles this one free. Back over to Reno. Reno, back in, stopped up by Spills. Spills trying to drive his way down, stopped up, no. Now one goes down to the near side. T getting a piece of that dumping as he'll take this one back behind his own goal line towards the top side of the ice. 40 seconds into it, we've already found two shots for the Plymouth Plague. Here's Chase off the hip, trying to take this one out in front, finds Spills. Spills with a shot attempt, scores! He just tucks that one to sleep, and we have ourselves the Plymouth Plague back in the lead. Beautiful feed from Chase, and Spills, what an angle of a shot. Reno had 99% of that ground covered, and uh, Spills finds that extra 1%. Live track, getting a touch on this one. Back down over to Reno. Reno off Spills. Spills down low in the offensive zone, trying to work his magic as he takes this one away and takes possession back into his own defensive end. 3.55 remaining here in the third period of action. Live track towards the top side, finding his way to Case Bar. Case Bar pulls it. Looking for that shot along the wing, not quite able to shoot. Scores on the top left shelf, and we have ourselves a 3-3 game. Beautiful puck possession. Had me doubting myself. And he picks that top left corner pretty magnificently and gets the hat trick in the process. 3.47 remains in the third. And it's 3-3 shot off to the near side. Spills with a big save there. Spills dumps this one along the near side. Boards goes down low. Reno tries to fight for the puck possession. Chase trying to jam this one in along the top side post. Reno not having any of that as he takes this one down to the near side. Pops this one loose. T controlled back in his own defensive end. So he'll try to start this breakout for Plymouth. Top side over to Chase. Chase here pulls this one off the back and back out to the neutral zone. Goes off Case by our stick into the hands of T. T, reverse to the top side boards, lap track, steal, shoots, nice block there by T. Case fire, chase, goes off Reno, goes off, spills into the corner. Case fire, fed out in front, Reno tries to panhandle that one, but just over the stick as that one leaks wide. Spills will take charge back at the red line as he tries to get this one through the opposition. Reno knocks it loose, thrown down in the near side boards, lap track picking up, Reno left off, chase picks it up, shooting, nice save there by Case fire. Lap track getting a touch on this one, T, back down low for the boys in red. T, off the back end, shot goes off Chase, almost able to deflect that one on. That was almost a Boston Big Bean goal if I've ever seen one. Case fire, live track, shoot, scores! An easy one-time goal, and that makes the difference. Four for the Comets, three for the play. Case fire with a beautiful feed, and live track with a beautiful finish off on that play. 2.46 in the third, and we play on shot. Nice save by Reno. T, controlled, fed over to Chase. Chase at the point, shooting this one down to the near side boards, looking for the hands of Spills. As Case Bar will try to fight that one free, goes off live track, goes off Case Bar into the hands of Reno as he touches this one and uh, tosses it into the Plymouth zone. T, back behind his own cage, looking to take this one out. The near side, live track not making life easy, steals it away off the back end, stopped up, looking for the forehead shot at an impossible angle. And if he did score, that was his, one of his career highlights. Spills all alone, shot off to the far side. Now one goes down into the river. Reno, near side. Case Bar not able to steal that one as Chase comes out the other way for the Plymouth play, goes off the stick. Now one's loosened up down in danger zone as Spills shoots it. He scores, making it four to four. And the Plymouth Blag are back in it now. Beautiful poise, nothing but ice in his veins. The Plymouth Plag are not dead yet. Lap track thrown into the corner. T looking to pick this one up and drive this one out down center lane. Goes off Reno. Reno steals it away. Forehand back in, not able to get that one completed. Possibly by the servers, who's to say? Uh, we'll have to ask him in the locker room afterwards. 145 remaining in the third. Live track stops that pass from Chase intended for spills. Live track will hit Chase yet again. Shot, hits the, no, it's on the line. Oh my goodness, you can't dime up a better save than that. And Chase was robbed as that one rings off the iron. Spills, T, down low. We're gonna bring this one home along the corner. Pops this one out to the top side wing, finding Chase. Chase at the point, shooting this one. Nice touch there by Reno. Throws it down, he shoots and scores, making it five to four for the Los Angeles Comets. Wow. Chase looking to pull this one off the boards as he's in the offensive zone. Reno there trying to play that physical game. Wins it out into the neutral zone. Case Bar shuffles this one down to the near side. Goes off laugh track. Laugh track against Speed Chase here. Down along the near side boards. Hand it over to Reno. Reno hits this one off of Spills. Able to get that one out on the second attempt as we have one minute remaining here in regulation between the Plymouth Plague and the Los Angeles Comets. 
T. Back at his own blue line. Look to take this one down the near side. Four-hand shot. Scores from the neutral zone. And we have ourselves a tie ball game. Yet again. Where pucks go to the net, that's where goals happen. And T knows that better than anybody else. Shot. Oh, my goodness. Lap track almost able to pick the pocket of T. As T thought the stick would go on the ice. But here we are. And it did not. T, back at the far side faceoff. Dot looks to play with fire out in front of his own cage. Forehand out to Spill. Spill's off the forehand shot. Nice touch by Case Fire. Controlling this one out in front of his own cage. Down to the near side. Here's Lap Track. Able to get this one popped out to the top side. Spill's down in the corner. Over to T. T along the near side of his own defensive end. Looking to bring this one out with 25 seconds remaining on this third period clock. T, down the near side. Looking to bring this one out. Lap Track not making life easy for him as he tries to take this one back under his own volition. Chase able to help this one along out to the blue line. Reno going down. T coming back out. Goes off Chase along the way. Here's Case Fire with it back behind his own net. Throws his one top side out to the neutral zone. T gets this one down low. Spills here with control. With four seconds remaining on the clock. He's going to hold it down in the corner. We have ourselves overtime. Puck is dropped in. Infinite amount of time can be played between these two teams. And now, no! T has an immediate answer. We have ourselves the decision. Six to five. And the Plymouth play go home with the extra point and an extra tally in their pocket. What a match. Decided in overtime. And the final score being six to five. Plymouth play playing a phenomenal game. Goal scores up the match. Spills with three. T with two. And Chase with one. And uh, for the Los Angeles Comets, Case Fire with three, Reno with one, and Lab Track with one as well. But uh, that's going to do it for now on the SPL Network. We'll come back for the next matchup between the Las Vegas Vandals and the Plymouth Plague here shortly. But, uh, thank you for tuning in to the SPL Network. I'm Darth, and we'll be right back here in about nine minutes until the puck drop, four minutes until the start of the pregame again.